Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are going to take a look at how to export a project from GarageBand into Logic Pro for iPad. Okay, so it's really easy, but why would you want to do this? Well, we've had GarageBand for ages and ages and ages, and many of you may have tons of projects in, in GarageBand that you may now want to move over to Logic because you can do a lot more stuff in Logic, you know. So we're going to take this first project here. Plus also, at this first project, I've used uh, Smart Instruments, which we don't have in GarageBand. So recording stuff like this is a lot easier in GarageBand than it is in Logic, you know. But we can still export all this stuff over. So here's the project. So you pay a little bit of attention to how it actually sounds. I'll close my mic while this is playing through. You get the idea, it kind of goes on. Okay, cool beans. So, what you want to do then, obviously, is save the project. You know, you could have gone on for ages and ages, built all this stuff you know huge track sort of thing click this little icon here which will save the track now i've obviously already saved it and i've called it from gb to lp4 ip i'm going to show you another one as well in a moment when i've showed you this one this is one that i made a couple of days ago and expanded it massively in logic so it will give you a much better idea of the the power you have when you export a project to logic right so that's done we're done with garage ben let's just slide the screen up here if we can and actually we can just get rid of let's just get rid of garage band altogether and let's open logic now without you doing anything at all you'll see my scalar 2 project here and this is the garage band one the scalar 2 project here which is the much expanded one which i made from the little gadget uh, little garage band project and then this one which is also a garage band project which is the one we've just exported but it all appears in the logic pro browser it's super easy it's just automatic so click on this and it'll say open garage band song with logic pro open in this song and garage run blah 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 click continue and what it will do is it will convert it into a logic profile now here it is in logic and you'll see it's called the same thing and if we scroll in a little bit here there is a project and it's identical now this does not mean you have access to your smart instruments but they're all recorded exactly as they should be and of course now you can go on and use stuff like the region editors uh, uh like and stuff like that you know we could go right by right, track editing we can go up to region editing we can go into general stuff for region editing it's all sorts of cool stuff you can do like with velocity pair region it's huge also you can add other instruments as well maybe you want to add some other strings and then just start copying this midi stuff over right right so <clears throat> here's the things you need to do if you want to get this in here right you go to your um track manager so make sure your your sound library go to manage packs and make sure scroll down all the way to the bottom here make sure that your GarageBand sounds compatibility pack is installed it's 802 meg if you've got GarageBand or whatever you've done you can just do that and, and make sure it's it's loaded in otherwise it won't work okay so we can go done now let's go back and uh, have a quick listen to the project again not all of it obviously But you'll hear it's just exactly the same right so it's super super simple <clears throat> and then you might want to go hurry on working on this track
Now, here's the thing. If we click on our drummer, for example, right, as a quick example of what we can do, and we click on edit here, you can still control all the stuff like complexity, intensity, all the fills. You can change the drum exact, exactly as you wish. You can vary up the mode here, though, as well. And you can go in here and go lock settings, lock fills, stuff you can't do in GarageBand. Go to details. You can change the swing, feel, etc., etc. But the cool thing is if we go here, let's close this. If we go here, we know that our drummers are made up of drum kit designers. So, for example, if we solo this, right, and let's bring in our loop region just to our drummer here and play this. This is where this gets really cool. We can change the sound of this drummer drastically with Logic, right? So, double click on this, and this is our drum designer, right? So here our kick, we can increase the volume just of the kick, but let's tighten up that snare, let's tune it, let's tighten up them hi-hats, now we're getting a much drier kit, right? So toms, let's dampen the toms, all of them, or individual damping. <clears throat> we can choose the tuning of the crashes. We can increase the level, or we can control the overall level of the crashes as well. We can control the percussion, if there was any. But we could go and say, well, okay, I'm going to go and put some per percussion in. So go back. Now we've got a much tighter sounding kit. Let's just select this region here and edit that. So just this region, edit. Let's put some percussion in. We could have, could be a tambourine. So let's go back now to our drum design, drum kit designer. It's a percussion, right? But of course, because this is a drummer, change everything up as we wish which is just awesome so so you hear now it's a much much tighter kit Right. Okay. So you get the idea, and then you can go on and on and on. Let's go back to GarageBand and let's load this Scalar 2 project that I made. Right. So all this was done. Now, for this one and the one I'm going to show you in Logic, I am going to go do a tutorial on how you can do all of this. And it's very, very cool. You can, you know, really, really get deep and make some great tracks. Anyway, let me just play. This is it. This is the entire thing. We can actually close that out. So this is just, it's just, it's just four tracks. <laughs> And I just built this using Scalar and I'm gonna I'll, I'll do a tutorial now you do this. But anyway, I just built it using Scalar and Pure Synth Platinum and then another drummer. Right, okay. So let's go back to our let's close out uh, GarageBand, go back to Logic, 
And there is the, uh, uh, where is it gone now? The There it is. That's the original project. If I was to open that now, it would ask me to convert the project into a garage van file, which I've already done and just showed you in the previous one with, the, with this one. And you'll see now that we have two of these, of course. One is the GarageBand file. If you delete this, it will delete it from GarageBand as well. So I would advise you that if you want to keep this project in GarageBand, don't delete this file from Logic or it will delete it from, Gar uh, from GarageBand's file browser as well. And there's our new one we've just created, which if we open up again, it'll just be the Logic project. Right. That one I just played you, that little Scalar 2 project, I turned into this once it was inside Logic. So let's just open this up. And you'll see this is much, much more complex. And I'm going to show you, like I said, from that little project that you created in GarageBand, you might have a bunch of these. This is the kind of stuff you can do with that. Now, I haven't played anything else in. I've added some in, some more percussion, some more drum stuff like that. I've changed stuff up in Scalar. And here is our Scalar. I've just changed the icon. But if we to select up here... You'll see scalar light. Scalar light, it's scalar light because you have to use scalar light in GarageBand and it just brings it over here. If we take this up here, you'll see I've got these. Um, well, you'll hear them when I start playing anyway because I've got it muted. Now, let's go. Let's bring this in and let's listen to this. So remember that other little project we just played, the tiny one. This is the kind of stuff you can do it in and I will do a full tutorial on how, how I did this. So... Let's just do this. Let's play it. All created without me having to play a note on MIDI keyboard. Not nothing, nothing at all. Everything was created with Scalar. I've made tons of adjustments with the actual regions. 
I mean, for example, if I go into this here and I select this particular track and I go up to, uh, yeah, I'm in region, region view now. If I look at, well, you'll see there's some velocity in uh, stuff being adjusted. If I look at all this kind of piano stuff, I've made all sorts of adjustments. See, velocity, I increased by three for this section. Um, let's see. Um, these this piano I transposed just this one. Look, if I go back to this one, velocity is increased by three, but I've increased the transpose by seven semitones for this one and this one. So it's given a seventh, oh, uh, a seventh against this lead. I also increased the velocity because this is where the strings come in. So you can do absolutely tons of really, really cool stuff. But like I said, I'll I'll do a proper tutorial on, on, on how you create something like this. Just from a super basic garage band project or doing it super basic inside of Logic Pro. You can do all sorts of really, really, really clever stuff. You know, it's it's just great. Anyway, guys, thanks very much. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you find it useful. If you've got GarageBand, and I'm sure most of you have, and are considering or already have Logic Pro, try getting some of your old projects into Logic Pro like that. And, you know, you're golden. You can just do so much cool stuff. Anyway, I will see you later. Ta-da.